Hey, you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to some more real RTZW here on the channel. So, as promised in the last video, we're taking a look at another Loffy map that came out in the last sort of couple of months or so, which I just haven't got around to playing yet. This one is um, slightly different, though, by all accounts. Vic Pass once again sort of brought this one to my attention over on the General Red Facebook page, and apparently, um, essentially, this one's called Shader Lab 1, and it's actually not so much a conventional RTCW map as it is more of a kind of educational sort of map, I guess to teach you about shaders or something, by the sound of it. So I think um, to get this one up we need to do SP Dev Map Shader Lab 1, uh, Shader Lab, Shader Lab 1. Okay, this should work, ladies and gentlemen. At least I would hope that it does. Um, so yeah, I'm up for learning about shaders, Luffy. That reminds me again of uh, those sort of very basic um, GTK Radiant RTCW custom mapping tutorials that Loffy made long, long ago. I always remember mentioning them and um, always thinking, you know, one day I'll have a go at sort of RTCW custom map making, but I still have not done. I'm just too busy IRL, that's the problem. All right. Oh, you want to fight enemies or you do not want to fight enemies? Ah, we want to fight enemies. Oh. Huh. Wait. Okay, not bring it back down. I guess not. Well, looks like we're having enemies in our uh, Shader Lab um, tutorial video, ladies and gentlemen. All right, give me the old reliable, the old Sten, some pineapple grenades, and a Thompson. Lovely. Okay, perfect amount of ammo for each one. So what's the deal? Ooh. Hello. What are you guys doing? Gosh, look at this. <laughs> Isn't this curious? I guess we're going out there eventually. What's going on up here? Or can we like climb up on top of this thing? How weird. Can hear that bird twittering outside. What's the deal with you guys then? What are you guys looking at? Texture blue dot TGA, texture orange dot TGA. It's like some weird Stanley Parable thing, this, except recreated in uh, RTCW. Okay, that's how you stealthily kill two guys. What's this thing here? door. Okay. Does this open at any point? Not by the looks of it, no. That's strange. Ah, hello, hello, hello. Oh, fuck. Wow. Am I the first person to fail on an educational map? <laughs> ah. It is interesting, though, how there's been a couple of people throughout the years now, including Loffy, who've made educational maps in RTCW's engine. Because obviously the other one is that return to Castel Vecchio. That's off the uh, Fuck it. Okay, there's two of them. Right, one on either side. Isn't that lovely? I have no armour either, which is a bit of a problem. Hold on, we will get them. We will learn about shaders in a second, ladies and gents. Just as soon as I fucking sort these assholes out. Oh, there you go. Oh, what the... Did you jump off? Where'd he even come from? Okay, maybe there's a more tactical approach required here. <laughs> I didn't realise this was going to be so difficult. <laughs> okay. Maybe we're supposed to use this to hide behind. Ah, bitch! Oh, fuck! Okay, that did not protect me from that guy because I was at a very awkward angle. Hang on, hang on. I died about four times now. Hold on, I shouldn't be using the Sten for this. I should be using the uh, Tommy gun or the MP40. Uh, there it is. There, hold up. Fucking... Oh, Christ! God damn, I'm like bouncing off that texture and just immediately fucking myself over. How am I failing at this so spectacularly? God, this game's hard when there's no cover to hide behind, isn't it? All right, go over here. Oh, that's one down. Where's the other one? Is he approaching? There he is. Oh, God. Bloody hell, they, react do, they do react very fast, don't they? What's this? Texture Shader Lab 2 layers without mixing. This is the shader's name. Map Texture Shader Lab 1 Blue TGA. Layer 1 applied first directly onto the brush's surface. This is the primary texture. Uh, layer 2 with the orange. Applied on top of layer 1, completely covering it. That's the secondary texture. Okay, I see. So is it like you put, I don't know, in GTK Radiant, do you like put a sort of, um, put your sort of shape in there, your block or whatever, and then you can apply each one, one on top of the other. So I guess that's a... Uh, Enables you maybe to overlay textures? What's this thing here? Oh. In the next room, we'll discuss two methods to make the second layer transparent. Ah, oh, hang on, there wasn't one of those back in here, was there? That I just missed? Uh, not by the looks of it, no. 
Okay, we're well, fine. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. I hope you give me some... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. There's literally a thing here that would tell us about it. This is an ordinary shader with two layers. The game engine processes shader scripts sequentially from top to bottom. In our example, the blue layer is applied first, followed by the orange layer on top. The second orange layer do not have any special scripting commands in this example. It is simply an image without additional instructions. In essence, there's nothing here in the script to make it transparent. Okay, so it's about making certain textures transparent then, is it? There's like a little thing there just randomly on the wall. Uh, are there going to be more enemies through here? Are gonna... oh, you are. Still someone else here you are. Gotcha. I would hope that there might be a health pack around somewhere, but hey, why is there a sniper hidden behind there for some reason? All right, tell me about this, Loffy. There are two ways to control transparency in the second layer of a shader. You might wonder which method is the best. Well, it depends on your specific needs and desired outcome. Mm hmm. So you can create constant transparency. Use a command for the second layer to control transparency, uniform transparency across the uh, entire surface. Okay. Uh, using shade command plus external volume brushes on corners. The transparency can vary across the surface. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm following because uh, <laughs> I'm not that much of a technical wizard, but hey. In the next room, we'll be taking a look at the first method, which is a straightforward and efficient way when you want consistent transparency across the entire surface. Okay. Maybe actually seeing it illustrated in practice will actually help sort of drive it home. Now who's in here? Oh, Ooh, don't you dare! You're gonna fucking panzerfaust me, are you? You're gonna do that to me? Uh, MP40, that's what we want for this. God dang these assholes. Oh god, I think one of them just <laughs> blew the other Ooh. Crying out loud. Shit. You die already, please. There we go. Is anyone else in there? Yeah, dang, I didn't realize I was gonna have to deal with those guys. Fucking Panzerfaust bozos. All right, hang on. Check, there's no other enemies hidden around here. Not around there, there isn't. No one upstairs. Okay, it doesn't look like there is. All right, let's uh, see what Luffy's tutorial in here is then. This method utilizes the alpha gen const command. The abbreviation const stands for constant, indicating that the transparency will be evenly distributed. The alpha gen const value runs from 0 to 1, and you can use decimal numbers. Mm-hmm, okay. I see, I see. So yeah, this is all like very much coding stuff that you do in GTK Radiant. Oh, thank you for the Panzerfausts, that's very, very nice of you. Um, so yeah, so 0 0.75, so that's like 25% transparent. I guess, yeah, it's sort of like if you wanted to mix textures then in GTK Radiant, to sort of try and produce some new and different effects, perhaps. I wonder if these boxes are, perhaps, I don't know, are they sort of an illustration of that, potentially? Because I don't recognise this texture. That could just be a custom texture, or it could be that maybe Luffy has found a way to combine certain textures or something. Hmm, interesting. So that's uh, Alpha Gen Con 0 0.5, 0 0.5 even. Okay, so yeah, basically 50% transparent. Alpha Gen Con 0 0.25, 75% transparent. Yeah, and it goes blue over here, you see. So Alpha Gen Con 0, 100% transparent. Interesting. I guess it's useful little tips and tricks. See you. Oh. oh, you bitch. Didn't quite get that headshot because he moved. Hold up, hold up. We'll get it in a second, don't you worry, folks. Just need to quick load back to where I was. <clears throat> I never thought I'd be doing this in a tutorial, Matt. Hey. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, you dealt with at least. There's probably someone else in there. Uh, using volume brushes. Now it's time for the next method to control the transparency of the second orange layer. The trick is to use a specific shader command for the second layer, 
in combination with using special volume brushes in the level editor. Mm hmm. Okay. Who's in here? Who's going to cause problems for me? Oh, you up. There's two of you, isn't there? Ah! Oh, that's the third one. God dang it, you psyched me out. I thought there was just going to be two. Turns out there's actually three. <laughs> this makes it really weird having enemies in this. I feel like there shouldn't really be any, but hey. Right, at least we're here. Oh, here they come. Right, hold up. Thank you. Oh, come on. Could do with some armour. And maybe some more health. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not supposed to play this with enemies enabled, in all honesty. Come on. Okay, here they come. Yep. God dang it! All they take is one shot, and you're dead. Maybe I should replay this without the enemies. I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Well, always love a challenge. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, God dang it. Right, as soon as they appear, you just have to power bullets into them and just try and aim for the head. Fuck me. Okay, this is weirdly hard. <laughs> oh, why are there three enemies? Why are there three dudes? Come on, headshot, headshot, headshot. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Oh, come on. I feel like all my bullets are going around the head, not into the head. I can get two of them, then the fucking third one just annihilates me. Maybe I need to uh, go all in here. Hold on. Where are you going? Oh, where are you? Oh, you're over there. I must have got a couple of them. Oh, yeah, you are there. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. God dang it. I was about to try moving away then. Even with a Panzerfaust, I can't do it. <laughs> Hold on. We will get this. Don't you worry. You just need to be... Another one down. Oh, there you are. Got you. That should be all of you, shouldn't it? There we go. If in doubt, use the Panzerfaust. As you can see, the specific command for the second orange layer is named Alpha Gen Vertex. It simply tells the game engine that the second layer's transparency in the corner or vertex is controlled by an external volume brush in the level editor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gosh. Without actually having really experimented with GTK Radiant, I... The volume brush sure follow, uses but yeah. its own shader with the command alpha mod set. Please remember, this volume brush is never used in the game, only in the level editor. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, if I was supposed, you know, to actually go into GTK Radio and just start playing around, I'd probably start seeing these things, these brushes, and then suddenly it would start actually making more sense, probably. Uh, textures. In oh, this example, that. we used a volume brush Radiant. in the level editor with an alpha mod set value of zero. This alpha mod set value only affects the second orange layer. The first layer, the blue layer, is always there in the background. Mm-hmm. So you can get that nice gradient effect then, I guess. Okay, okay, interesting. <laughs> Who's in here? Nobody? Okay. It's a bit too quiet for my tastes. A bit worried that someone's going to pop around the corner. Hello? Who's there? Oh, it's a big open room. Probably without lots of enemies in it. Hiding around corners. <laughs> right, oh, it's like going out. There's a fucking lips on either side. Where are you? I know you're there, buddy. Oh no, okay. Is this just an empty room? Is there nobody here? Oh, huh. it's quiet for a change. Please note that all five examples in this room have the same shader. Surface one, the shader's name. Blue, applied first, primary texture. Yes, we've I think we've seen that sign before, haven't we? Um, okay, see, like you've got uh, different effects. Like you've got solid orange, and it starts to have the blue creeping in. Zero percent secondary texture. Twenty-five percent. 
Okay, I see. 50%, that one there. 75% secondary texture, yeah. I see, I see. Who's here? Someone behind the boxes? Hmm, I bet there is. Look at this. We're getting onto like grass textures or ground textures or something. Huh, okay. Texture dirt.tga. Grass.tga. Okay, is it going to show how you can sort of overlay these together? Alright, using volume brushes this time with terrain textures. Okay. Suddenly there's no enemies. But I'll bet some appear in a second. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see where they're sort of overlaying a bit. So that's like the full grass, grass texture. You look at that, we can see the dirt creeping in on a corner. Oh yeah. No one here once again. You see? So once again, that's a 0% secondary texture. I see, I see. Okay, clever, clever. Oh, hello. Did I do it? <laughs> did I? Did I beat? Beat the friggin... Oh, oh, hello. Okay, suddenly now we've got to deal with enemies. Tough enemies, and I have very little health. I had a feeling this gate was going to open at some point. See, you can learn about shaders and fight some Nazis. Oh. <laughs> What's that music? <laughs> okay. Oh, it just stopped there. Oh, at least there's a bit of health and armour in here. At least it'll give me a bit of protection. Alright. So what weapons did I get from that? I got... Uh, I got carabite. No, I got that earlier. So grenades. I got those earlier. I got my pants fast. Got that earlier. Huh. Adam gun. Sure. I will take. All right. Oh. Is that a loper that I'm hearing? Oh shit! What the hell? Get out of here. Someone else is coming. Hold on. Use basic weapons for them. No, not that. It's a bit too basic. Yep. Oh, fuck. Nope. Scientists. Why's it got to be scientists of all people? Now, where's that fucking loper that I'm hearing? Oh, it's up there. There it is. Will it be able to fit through this door? If I sort of lure it down? Oh, never mind. There's another one up there. Oh, if you're just up there. That's not... Oh, fuck. Oh, oh God, you bugger. Oh, fuck, he can get here. Got another one. Hold on. Here he comes. Maybe. Oh, I should be using the. F Do I have a flamethrower? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> what was there a cha-ching sound? <laughs> okay. Cha-ching, you beat a load of enemies. Cool. Do I remember? Always got the Panzer Faust. Do you reckon there's going to be a super soldier somewhere? Oh, fuck. I should remember. Guys on the lights. Guy standing up on the baton lighting. Lovely. Hang on, where did I quick save? After taking all those... Oh, there's music now, all of a sudden. Here. Alright. Do I need to take out the scientists again? I might well need to. See these Nazis? Oh, fuck. I literally just mentioned guys upon the lighting and immediately forgot that that guy's going to be there. Alright. Oh. Him. Yep, yeah, there's another of yet. Okay, get everything. Boom. Right. Special venom gun out. Right, hold up. To him, and there's the other one coming. Cut. Whoa. Wait, are you what the hell are you doing up there? That's not where you're supposed to be. Right, you're down. Yep. Where's the other one? There he is. Oh, he's coming. Okay, he's getting stuck on the, he's getting stuck on the textures, that's what he's doing. Because he's a fool. Oh, hold on. Gotcha. <laughs> Once again, there it is. Right, watch out for the, di uh, the dude on the baton lighting this time. He's up somewhere above you. There he's on this one, isn't he? Hold up, hold up. I see you. Gotcha. Maybe I should be stealthing him. Ah, oh, that guy doesn't seem to care, does he? Alright, hold up. 
Is there any more of you in here now? Someone's there. Oh shit, yes there is. He saw that. Okay, it's coming to me. Is he? What are you doing? Oh, you moved. Oh, shit. So, preemptively shooting. Let's get rid of him. Okay, okay. I don't think there's any more of you, are there? Hey, Luffy, do you want to tell us some more? In this example, we use <laughs> a volume brush in oh, the shit. with an alpha mod set value. I should have of anticipated zero. that guy being there. This alpha mod set value only affects the second orange layer. The first layer, the blue layer, Nobody here? is always there in the background. Apparently not. Okay, we're all right for the time being. Advance slowly. Take it cautiously. The Nazis do not like shader tutorials. Ah, I think we're getting close to the start here. That flamethrower being waved around. Ah, yeah, through there. That's where you are. All right, so let's see then. Maybe. There do this. Ooh, bitch. Should have known. Okay, is that guy going to come towards me? Oh, fuck, he is. Oh, you bugger. God dang it. Should have waited for him. Alright, hold up, hold up. How many deaths can I have in one friggin' level, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> Alright, get this out again. Okay. Over here. Watch out for Panzer Man. He's over there. <laughs> Missed. You bitch. Here he comes. Oh! I didn't realise he could lead a shot like that. Well, what a asshole. Okay, they are really tricky in this one, aren't they? Alright, hold on, check. Yeah, this is where we were. Alright, alright. I mean, I have a Panzerfaust too. I could always try using that on him. Crap. Come over here. I thought I could uh, sneakily just drop in and out there and get a few shots on him, but nope, apparently not. God friggin' dang it. Maybe we need to use this. Just nail him with a fucking carabiner. Something. That missed. Missed me, bro. Oh. Shit! I was too slow. How many shots do you need? I feel like I've just put three carabiner rounds into you. Alright. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get my own out. I'm going to fight fire with fire. If we're going to be like that, then I'm going to do it back to you, bitch. All right, hold on. Got him. All right, he's dead. He's dealt with. Thank God. All right, see if we can... Uh... I think i got someone in there. Heard someone go over. All right. Fucking flame trooper. Got him. Anyone else through there? Is going to be a problem. Or is that all of you? Three fuel. God, it's not much in a flamethrower, no, is it? Oh, you bitch! Oh, you bitch! Oh, you bitch! I should have known. It's a Loffy map. Of course, he's going to fucking spring surprises like that on you. Fucking doors that open at crazy angles. What a bitch! What a little bitch! Right. Oh, now we got to 75 fuel and that bad boy. Right, where the fuck? Right, he comes out over there and there's one over there. Hold on. Oh god, where are you? I know you're going to trigger. Oh! Great, he led his shot again. Right. Got pants fast on my own, got to remember that. So what i got to remember, if I stay on that wall, the Venom Gunner might not be able to get me. Which is fine. Right. Do this. Hey. Oh, come on. There's barely any space in here to evade the blast from that thing. Maybe I just need to hit him first. Maybe with a Panzerfaust rocket of my own. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Hold up. No, get, get that out. There we are. Right, hold up. Two can play at this game. Bitch. Haha, you are open, but you don't know what's going on. Okay. Shit. Got you first. 
Is that going to be all of you? Or do I need to worry about more of you? Hey, no, trust it. Is anyone in the starting area? No. What is that music? <laughs> this is strange. Ah! You were hiding a health pack. Well, I go down. Something in there, maybe? Or. Nah, not by the looks of it. Alright, who's through here then? Oh, no, it's just the end. <laughs> 28 attempts. I guess that's that. A shader lab, ladies and gentlemen. Shader lab one. What are we listening to? Alright, that was that then. That was uh, Shaderland by Loffy. That was another interesting little uh, addition to the roster of uh, content in my RTCW playlist. So it's always uh, interesting when people try and create sort of educational tools in uh, video game engines like this one. Because, uh, you know, I always said that Return to Castel Vecchio was a kind of interesting idea. So it's interesting to see a sort of educational map of a different kind this time around. I'd love to sort of see people uh, do more of that, whether that's, you know, doing what Luffy did here, making sort of educational maps about specific things, or maybe, you know, what uh, the creator of Castel Vecchio did, uh, with basically recreating an actual real-world location and using that as a way of teaching people about something. So, yeah, it goes to show, you know, video games can use them for all kinds of educational purposes, potentially. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, watching that, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed watching me fail over and over again against those enemies. Social media links plus my propagandist channel link are found in the video description for anyone interested. If you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. Thank you once again, Luffy, for uh, creating that map for us. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'll see you hopefully sometime soon for, well, I was about to say for some more RTCW content, but that depends on whether there's any more add-ons that have come out in the meantime uh, over the course of the summer. Because the thing is, by the time this video goes out, I should be back in my flat um, after having visited friends and family uh, and should be able to start recording again um, in preparation for September and beyond. So, uh, yeah, um, if anything does get released over August, you know, do let me know. And um, in the meantime, I'll be keeping my eyes out for any comments about uh, the Wolfenstein Enemy Territory single-player add-on in case there was anything new that was added to that along with real RTCW5. But, yeah, we'll see. All right, so, uh, yeah, I've just done my outro spiel. See you for whatever comes next, whether that's more RTCW or whether that's getting back to some other World War II games. Goodbye, everybody. Missing? What do you mean, missing? You were supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target, the Marsh Refinery. I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. Hey, don't you freaking try to electrocute me again, you bastard. Aw, oh, oh, you bastard. <laughs>